guys, so today I'm making this this lovely phone bag. Now I call it phone bag, but um, really it's just a small bag where you can put all your essentials when you're out and about with your child. Like me, for example, I have loads of stuff in my change bag for my baby, but um, I need easy access to my phone and um, tissue and, and money, so this is perfect for that purpose. Um, as you can see, I've used two colours here. So, um, what I said uh, in the next, what I'm saying in the next clip is exactly what you need unless you need a longer strap. If you want a longer strap, then you need more of this yarn. Also, you don't need the pink one unless you want to do the pockets in the middle, which I'm going to do in the next video. Okay, right, let's get started then. I'm definitely going to use these two. This is double. This is double knitting and it's 55% acrylic and 45% nylon, 50 grams here and 50 grams here. I'm keeping this just in case I want to use it for the inside pockets and then <clears throat> one of the buttons um, I'm going to use to close the bag. I like this one most but um, we'll see how it works and it's just that you need a fairly big button. And then either crochet needle or darning needle, something to cut, and I'm going to use the 3.5 millimeters crochet hook. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with a rectangle for the body of the bag first. So I'm going to do my slip knot and then chain 24. So just normal chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, and I'm going to add one more chain for turning, just one, so in total it's 25. Now bear in mind it all depends how big your phone is. So I'm going to show you my phone just for, just so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to have a little bit of, um, well, a little bit left on each side because of course I'm going to um, need to uh, connect the two different parts, but also because I don't want it to be too tight. I want to be able to take the phone out quite easily. So I've tested three different stitches for this and decided that actually the simplest stitch would be the best which is double crochet in British English and single crochet in American English. So to do that, I'm going to skip the first stitch here. So this one I'm going to skip and go into the second stitch from the hook. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. And into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then again in the next stitch, put the hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And again in the next stitch, put the hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that's what I'm going to do until the end of the row. So I'm going to see you here once I'm at the end. So now I'm at the end of my row, I just need to do my last stitch in the last chain. There we go, that's 24. Now I'm going to chain one for turning and then start again in the first stitch from the hook. So just in that first one here, I'm going to do a double crochet again. So one double crochet in the first one, one double crochet in the second one, and in the third, 
and the fourth and so on. So I'm going to do another row of just double crochets, uh, one in each stitch and I'll see you here in a minute. So I have 20 stitches so far and then we go 21, 22, 23, and 24, which is just in this stitch here, 24, like so, and that's my row finished. And then I'm going to do one chain for turning and turn my work around again. And again, I'm going to go into the first stitch from the hook and do a double crochet in the first stitch and then a double crochet in the next and in the next and in all the others so see you here in a second and again i've done 20 stitches so far 21 22 23 and 24 and that's my row finished i'm going to chain one turn the work around and start in the first stitch again one double crochet in each stitch two three four and five so this is basically what i'm going to do let me just show you what it looks like so if i it's a bit curly for now so it's going to settle down a bit, uh, a bit later. So this is the kind of width that I'm looking for. But again, it depends how big your film is. So I'm just going to leave you with this for now. And if you look down here, you'll see how many rows I've actually done. Um, because I can't know just yet. And I'll meet you here when I'm close to the end. And I'll show you when I fasten off. So see you here in a second. Okay, so I have 99 rows now, um, so it all depends really how big your film is, but also I do need to point out that it's not just going to be the thickness of the film. I would like my strap to be slightly thicker, so assuming this is, let's just use this as, as a reference. There we go. So if I have my strap, which is that thick, um, then I can decide whether the flap is long enough in, or not. And I'm happy, I'm happy with how long the flap is here, so I'm just going to stay at 99. So, to continue, I'm going to do my last row with the button loop. Um, so, as usual, I'm just going to chain one, turn around, and do 11 double crochets, one in each stitch. So, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now I'm going to do one double crochet in the 12th stitch as well. And then before I do any other stitches, I'm going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch, which is stitch 13, and do a double crochet in there as well. Okay, and then before I do anything else, I'm going to get the button that I've decided to use. So remember I was deciding between these three and I think I'm just going to go with a very simple black one. And I just need to make sure that it's going to fit through the loop. There we go. It's quite nice. It's fairly tight, but it's not too difficult to put through. So I'm going to stay with seven. But again, it depends what kind of button you're using. So I'm just going to carry on until the neck and the end of the row, doing one double crochet in each stitch. And then I'm just going to fasten off 
and that's our body of the bag done. So give me one second. And the last stitch, and then just one more loop and pass you. And that's done. So let's put that to the side for now. Um, obviously, later on, I will sort out all the ends as well, like you usually do at the end. But let's move on to the strap one. For the strap I'm going to use the other colour and again as I said before we're working in rectangles all the way through, nothing easier. So as I did with the previous one I'm just going to do a chain first. So I'm going to do a chain of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. And now I'm going to chain one more for turning and then going into the second chain from the loop I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight, and again as usual, chain one for turning, turn around, and starting in the very first stitch, do one double crochet in the first one, and one double crochet in all the others. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, chain one, turn the work around. Start in the first stitch from the hook and do one double crochet in each stitch. So again this is what I will be doing uh, except the strap is actually going to be very very long um, because it has to reach across obviously um, the arm and so if you have a look Okay, so that's my three, three rows so far. Um, I'm just going to carry on, have a look here how many rows I've ended up doing and pause the video please and I'll see you here soon. So now I have both the bag and the strap. I'm going to use the leftover yarn from the strap to put them together. So as you can see the bag is here. This is the front of the bag with the buttonhole here. I've already folded the back so that my phone fits, if you can see there, um, including the eight stitches. So you should leave a little bit there for this bit of the strap. So remember that it has to be there and then the strap has to be accounted for in this bit. Okay, so now I'm going to count 30 three stitches on this side of the bag so the back of the bag and the strap so 33 stitches so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33, 33 and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. So 
that's my third, dirty third here. So this is not so important because sometimes you can miscount. So this is actually here more important to remember. I'm just going to get a little marker. I can can find one. There we go. Thirty-three, and just put the marker here. Okay. So this is what what we're going to do. So when you start, if you're using this same yarn as the strap, it's important that the strap is in front of you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the hook through the first stitch here and through the very first stitch on the back. So again, go into the next stitch and go into the next stitch on the back, yarn over, pull through and do a slip stitch. And then we're going here and the same here, yarn over, pull through and slip stitch. And again here, here and here, yarn over and slip stitch. And again, just make sure you don't put the hook into the same stitch. So this is quite straightforward and really quite easy. And if you turn your work around, it actually looks fairly tidy. So this is what we're going to do all the way around. So I'm just going to carry on with this. And once I got to the turning point, which is here, I'll come back to see you. So, see you in a second. Okay, so we got to the turning point, and if you look on the other side, it's quite nice and even. So all we need to do now, we carry on as, as we have done, but we do need to turn the work a bit, so make sure that you go into exactly the next stitch. And don't worry if you didn't end up with exactly 33 stitches. Um, I've been trying to do, do this a few times and to be honest, because it's size of stitches and not actual stitches, it's really difficult. So it doesn't really matter if you ended up with less or more. It, the number is just to give you a more an idea, more or less, how long the strap within the bag should be. Okay, and we're almost at the end here. So just need to put the hook in this last one here and pull it through. And we're going to turn around again. So we need to find the next stitch, which is here, and then the next stitch on the back, which is here, and again, we pull it through, and go into the next one, pull it through both, and do a slip stitch, and the same here, and in the next, and the same here. And in the next, and throughout the length of the strap. So what we want to do now, we want to get this strap back to the level of the beginning. So I'm just going to finish this and show you um, how I'm going to finish off this bit. We're not far off now. So 
So I'm just going to finish this off on this side and I'll see you here once, I've, once I'm done, once I'm at the end. Right, so I'm almost at the end here. I just need to make sure that all the stitches line up with the other side. So if you have a look, I've got one, two, just one more stitch to do I think. Okay, and just to compare, no, nope, actually there's one more. Now let's check, yep, exactly the same level, so now I can just fasten off and move to the other side. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on the outside. So now the, the one thing to remember is not to twist the strap because that would be awkward. And so just, just make sure that you line it up with your bag. And what we want is again we want the green strap to be in front of you. So we might need to turn it around and again start in the back so the easiest thing to do instead of counting the stitches would be to just look where your stitches begun here and just move your finger along and begin in the same once you've counted obviously 33 there so I think I've lost my marker again one. So if we go there, okay, so this is where we want to go in and here, again I need to make sure that the strap is in the right way, I want to count 33 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. three is here so this is what we're going to do we're going to do exactly the same thing go into both make sure that you leave a longer tail of your yarn so that you can weave it in later on and we're just going to do exactly the same thing that we did on the other side so just go in and do a slip stitch in every stitch. I like to see where I'm going in because it's actually if you if you make a mistake it's not a big deal but it just makes it slightly less tidy and I like tidy so there we go. So this is what I'm going to do when we have a look at the back. It is very tidy. It's quite pretty. So I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. Go around here, go around and around and I'll see you here once I finish to see. Okay, so now we've got our bag and I still have all the ends to tidy up. But before I do so, I am going to attach the pattern. So if you remember I chose this black pattern and I've just got a um, thread that is more or less, well it's a similar, co similar colour, it's not the same colour. So I'm going to use that and just a normal size needle to attach the pattern. Okay, so now all I need to do is to count how many um how many rows so from the top here i'm going to count eight rows so one two three four five six seven eight so this here is going to be our marker 
to match up with the top of the front so that we have a little bit of space on top here um, if we wanted to put something thicker in the in the bag and then when we more or less it doesn't have to be very precise so this is what I'm going to do and I will decide to put my button in this row here and in this row I have 23 stitches across or at least this is what I count 1, 2, 3, 4 and so forth so all of these I have 23 so I'm going to put my button in the 12th one so that it's right in the middle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 12. So I need to mark the spot. There you go. So that's my 12. And this is where the button is going to go. So I just need to attach my button now. And we'll be all set after we've tidied, tidied the, the little corners. Okay, so I'll get the button attached and I'll see you here in just a second. Okay, with the button now firmly attached, uh, the only thing that's left is to tidy those ends. So I know that everybody has their own way of doing this, so I'm not going to bore you with it. I'm just going to show you what I do. So I'm just going to basically weave these in to make sure that my bag doesn't fall apart. But um, if you have a tried and tested way to do it yourself, please go ahead, go ahead and do what works for you. That's always best I find. Okay, so I'll see you here once I've finished with all of this to show you the end product. And here it is, my foam bag. Have a look, this strap is here. You can open it and then put the foam in. And obviously you can put the phone and some little bits and bobs as well if you're going out just to the shop or if you just need to take some little things like a tissue and uh, and your phone and your um, a little bit of cash with you there we go um in the next video i'm going to show you how to make little pockets so that the phone can stay in one place and then i will also make a little pocket for for cash and a little holder for headphones so if you'd like to see that um go and see the next video and that's it for today thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye